Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the last installment of our Scenario Homes speed build. So today we will finally be building a home for the Too Many Toddlers scenario. It reads, can a sim master the art of caring for a bunch of toddlers and provide all the attention, care, and love that they need to thrive? And we have to start with at least three toddler sims and at least one young adult or older sim. The story ending is that the toddlers reach level three in four skills. So let's jump into create a sim where we are making our mother a sim. I have named her Paris Birch. She is family oriented, neat, and childish uh, when we get to it. <laughs> Uh, but yes, I think that that should be a fun mix to start with and I just did end up going in changing her hair and I applied CC lashes. I did all of her outfits but I think I only showed this one because I wanted to cut out a whole bunch of footage that just wasn't necessary. So there's her hair and when we create her three little bundles of joy we have little McKenna who is angelic and Preston. Her son, who is um, independent, he's coming up soon. There he is. And then we have Sophia, is our last toddler, and she is inquisitive. So that is them. I did go through and pick all their outfits and all that fun stuff. So here they are, our lovely little family to start with. And then we are going to jump into the speed build. And we're building in Newcrest on the Comfy Cubby lot, which is a 20 by 15, and we have 26,000 simoleons to start with. So after purchasing the lot, that leaves us with 24,500 simoleons. And um, I think that we can get a lot done with that. I was very hopeful going into this that we would be fine. <laughs> I still ran into some issues because that's just how I am. But to start off, I knew I wanted to make a skinny townhouse style home so that they could have a spacious side yard uh, to make for better gameplay. That way you don't have to spin around with the camera to the backyard to check on the kiddos. You can just kind of look over to the left. <laughs> uh, and you'll notice here in this first part of me building that I do have organized debug on because this was before the update we got on the 18th. I was trying to get most of this done before said update because I knew that would leave me without my very precious tool mod and my organized debug and better build by. <laughs> so hopefully we get those all back soon. Tool is back um, but the others are still being worked out so fingers crossed we can we can be patient uh, but now we are pretty much done with the shell I'm just figuring out uh, some basic things like stairs and where the railings are gonna go and I think I changed the railings here um, I do eventually go back to that ladder style uh, railing because that was updated so for now I think I just go with uh, this one right here I think that's another base game one and I really like those uh, seasons stairs that you can like see through they don't have a, a flat back behind the steps which is nice um, but for now yeah working out some more oh yes I added a back porch area here so then I had to pull the fence back a little I did not close off the fence there because if I did that it would um, make the fence jump up to the foundation height which is really really annoying <laughs> it really is like the fence can still be on the ground it doesn't need to <sighs> match up with I've never seen that in real life I don't know where that came from that was that was really really driving me crazy and then here just picking the foundation uh, trim so I use like that lattice style in the front and back under the porches and then just some normal one with some wood trim on the rest of the house here we are finally finishing up with the roofing I just put this nice trim on there and then I go into figuring out the the paint and the flooring for the exterior and then shortly after that I will be picking the windows and doors and that'll all just come together pretty nicely so here I was I really wanted to use the growing together siding <clears throat> but I just couldn't 
I couldn't make it work and I cut out a bunch of footage you don't see here because it took me forever just flipping through all the different sidings. I eventually picked this one. It's brick on the bottom with white um, caps on the corners and then this lovely yellow, like a muted yellow um, siding in the middle. And then upstairs, I just used the same siding without the brick on the bottom. And I just really like that one. It's very simple. It's very plain, but it's it, it just makes for a cute, you know, practical family suburban home. So I really liked that. And here we are placing the stairs and getting our inside floor plan together. I do end up swapping out that big front door for a smaller, cheaper one later on. But uh, for now, we are going with that. Now working into the kitchen space. Uh, so over here we have that sliding door to the back deck and uh, it is a very simple design. I just use these cheaper base game counters and cabinets and also the cheaper appliances. And I have this L-shaped situation on the far wall. Now there's no dining table in here because I wanted to save money for the kids' rooms and toys. Plus they can like all eat on the floor or in the living room. So I figured it wasn't a big deal. But I left the space there for you guys to add one later if you'd like, or maybe even high chairs if you want to deal with that mess. <laughs> they made it a little bit easier um, with the infant update, like the high chairs work a little better. I still absolutely hate them, unless it's for infants, because that's essential and it's just so cute. But yeah, here we are finishing up this little L shape. Those windows are from Get Together, and I thought they worked so well with this home because they're like short but they're wide so you can use them above the sinks and they get covered really nicely with the curtains so that is where we went with that and then I think I end up picking out um, this oh what was it oh it was from Parenthood I pick out the Parenthood um, tile in a very funky color that I never use but I thought that it looked nice here and I wanted to try something a little bit different. So that is where we go with that. Um, and has, of course, my favorite base game range hood and also the smoke detector, which is essential. I actually used the very large ceiling saucer light in here because I thought that it made more sense um, that they would have this ugly saucer light in the kitchen. <laughs> I wanted it to look sort of, you know, not perfect and there's that linoleum floor of course and here we are picking out the front and back deck now we are moving into the bathroom it is very plain i just kind of was trying to keep the the budget down so there's a parenthood sink base game toilet i think i replaced it with a different base game toilet yes there is that one i feel it's like a little skinnier and has like a boxier shape to it and then a little tiny mirror up top but I was just trying to get a feel for how I wanted it. I didn't fully decorate it yet. I think the only decoration I actually add is the toilet paper. So again, trying to keep it simple. The toilet paper costs 50 simoleons, so what are you gonna do? But um, I do end up later on placing a toddler potty in there because it is essential. And then the child's room will have a toddler potty. So only two, somebody will be sharing in this household. Uh, here is the upstairs floor plan. It looks a bit funky, but it does work out in the end. And then we get the kids' room all lined up. I just wanted to make sure all three toddler beds uh, could fit in there. Then picking out a bed for mom's room, and that little square there is going to be her bathroom. So that only has a sink and a toilet. It does not have a shower. You could probably make the university shower work in there. But I just didn't want to crowd it up and again trying to save money. I figure they only need one shower tub combo. They can they can rough it for a little bit. <laughs> and then uh, you know, you can always get one later. So but to get started, this is a nice cute little home. So right about here is where I'm finishing placement of all the outer windows and just taking a quick look around. And then, uh, oh right, and of course, I move the mailbox and I add an outdoor trash can so that I would not forget one later on down the line. This one is from high school years. I really like that one, it's just very practical. It looks realistic. Okay, and then moving into the living room, this is build session number two. So that door and the entryway table that you'll see in a little bit are from Laundry Day. That console table is base game, 
and the TV is also. I think the curtains may be from Parenthood. Don't quote me on that. I missed that one. But they're really cute. You'll see they kind of disappear and then they come back later on when I realize that I could uh, allocate more simoleons from depreciation. <laughs> which is so weird, but when you have sims in the house that you're building, uh, after you place them, the value of them goes down. So then when you go and delete them later to replace, you actually end up not getting as much money back. I know. it. It's weird. But I like having playtester sims on the lot, just so if I want to test something, I can just do it. I don't have to leave, go through a loading screen, yada yada. And then here is me getting rid of that one window, because I was trying to save money and scrambling to figure out where else I was going to put lights and what lights I was going to replace. <laughs> Here is the um, Parenthood um, curfew board. I put that downstairs as well. Here is a nice cute little tour of the toddler's rooms. I just finished it really quick um, because I was in a rush and again I wanted to cut out as much footage as possible but it's very nicely decorated it's very simple there's enough space for everybody to move around you know toddle and do their thing and here's mom's room is very dark and moody and relaxing I feel like after a long day of toddlering that is where you want to be that is where you want to sleep <laughs> but here we go so moving outside we have a bunch of debug plants and I wanted to put those bushes in the front there and lower them, but of course I don't have tool mod, so that plan just was not going to work out. <sighs> I was very upset. So I just used those like low-lying yellow flowers and I combined them with these kind of weird shaped bushes and of course my tall skinny corner trees that I use every time I build anything ever. I just love them. And then those, I think those are debug foxglove plants from Cottage Living. Now these flowers I did buy and I think it's just because I couldn't find the debug versions. Later on I do find them and I just never replace them. So that's money wasted right there. I think they're only 15 though. So that's not a huge deal. Uh, but here we are, we're gonna make this lovely um, pathway. And I also make a little extension over to where the steps are uh, leading up to the front deck because we need that. Um, but I think this came out really cute and then we work into the side yard situation in just a little bit but I had to put down some more terrain paint and make those garden beds actually look like they had dirt in them so over here these bushes worked just fine I just sized them down a smidge so I could fit uh, three in here and that tree back there is also debug and here I decided it would be a nice idea to make a little sand pit and that chair, that crate with the blanket on it, is from the Little Campers kit, and so is that, um, whatchamacallit, I think it's a cooler or like a little wagon thing. And there's a debug bucket and pail and rubber ducky that I put in the sand pit. Don't get too attached to the big tent over here next to the back deck. I do end up getting rid of it. It was just too much money. And that is a debug table and chairs on that back deck also. <laughs> because, like I said, we were running low. That is a debug planter also. That little cement planter that I sized down a whole bunch of times. Uh, so I did still have access to debug even though I didn't have organized debug. It just wasn't organized the way I like it. And I was very upset that I couldn't find what I was looking for. And I couldn't just type something in and find it because it doesn't work that way. But anywho... Hmm, we're getting ahead of ourselves. So here is that bicycle. It's debug bicycle from Cottage Living. And then I realized, oh hey, I didn't add ceilings and I can do that now. So I did. I added ceilings inside and I was so happy about it, you guys. I was very excited. Here is the little toddler slide we got with the Growing Together pack. I think you only got that if you ordered it within a certain period of time. So if you download this and you don't have that slide, you can always replace it with the base game one totally fine um, but here we are I have a little dollhouse out here obviously the sand pit the slide and then I just make this little pathway here leading from the front gate to the back um, deck area and I actually end up hating it in the end I thought it just looked too clunky so I end up replacing it with um, with stepping stones which you will see me do very shortly but first I wanted to get some more landscaping up here I threw down more flowers those right there in front of the debug bicycle are from debug so there you go 
Um, <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't find them in the first place. And here are those lovely stepping stones I was talking about. So I move those all into place. And uh, they do kind of fit together nicely. You can pretty much orient them however you want. You can size them up, you can size them down. Those are very handy. I just search stone when I have organized debug on and I can find them quite easily. I don't know, yeah, I guess I searched them here because I can see it in my search bar uh, in this video. So I must have searched that and found them here somehow. I think that some of my code from Better Build By must still be in the game somehow. <laughs> Because I can still do certain things that I used to do with organized debug, but it's not in my game. It's not even on my computer. I cleared my cache, I emptied my trash, I did everything. I don't know why. So here's me going through one last little bit of decorating from the money I allocated. I added all those curtains back, a rug, some paintings in the living room, and I think that's pretty much it on some outside lights. So here is our live mode little preview of the home. Of course, it is snowing in Newcrest lovely but I think you get the idea it was really cute it came together really well and I think it'll be perfect for you starting off your too many toddler scenario obviously you can delete certain things you can even get rid of the whole fence if you want it would save you a ton of money um, to you know buy more toys or get that tent back maybe <laughs> I really did like that tent but anyway guys, thanks so much for joining me here today. This will be the last um, scenario home speed build I do for a while. I'll probably start like season two in a little bit, but we are gonna dive heavy into the horse ranch expansion pack. So get ready for that. Enjoy the screenshots and the music and I will see you guys next time. Be sure to like and subscribe, leave any comments down below and uh, I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye guys. Bye.